sources of unsystematic risk is what we are going to deal in this particular video. Remember unsystematic risks are the risks which are within the firm and can be controlled to a large extent if not absolutely. So let's see what are the different sources of unsystematic risk. For our learning here we have taken three sources of unsystematic risk. First is your business risk, second is your financial risk and third is your default or insolvency risk. What is business risk? Let's understand that business risk relates to the variability of sales, income, profits, etc. which in turn depend on the market conditions for the product mix, input supplies, strength of competitors, etc. So basically how your business can be impacted, the way you run your business. So it's definitely upon the management and upon the executives to run their business into a much better way. There are several case studies where we have seen how business risk can be, can be a very a dangerous situation for any company. For example, Nokia is a famous example of business risk. Hence, it is, is it not controllable? Yes, it can be controllable to a certain extent by taking right decisions at right time. What is your financial risk? Financial risk is the risk that arises from the financing decisions that you have taken in your business. This relates to the method of financing adopted by the company, high leverage leading to larger debt servicing problems or short term liquidity problems due to bad debts, delayed receivables and fall in current assets or rise in current liabilities. So basically how this financial risk actually affects is through two ways. Suppose uh, you are going for your long term uh, financing. So you need to make a careful choice whether you want to go for equity, debt or any other source and you should also work on your working capital cycle. You should be the working capital should be in your control so that your financial risk doesn't arise. With careful uh, calculations and with the right decisions in the business you can also avoid financial risk. Default or insolvency risk the borrower or issuer of securities may become insolvent or may default or delay the payments due such as interest installment or principal repayments. The borrower's credit rating might have fallen suddenly and he became default prone and in its extreme form it may lead to solvency, insolvency or bankruptcy. So basically insolvency risk is an outcome of business risk and financial risk. So all the three can by taking the right decisions in the business are very much controllable and are within the hands of the business managers, executive, top executives to take the right decisions and this risk are to a larger extent very much controllable. Now in next video we are going to see how do we measure the risk.